Welcome to the Desk Yoga Series. My name is Sarah Beth, and we'll begin today's hips and low back routine standing behind our desks. So give yourself some space where you can take your feet wider than hip distance, and just take about five or six squats, sitting back into your hips to increase the blood flow to your legs. You can use your hands on the back of your chair for support if you'd like as you reach your hips back and then stand up. Reach your hips back and then stand up. Just a couple more times. Great. Standing up with your feet nice and wide, take your hands to your hips and take some big hip circles in any direction to start, as big or as slow as you'd like to go. So this will look different and feel different for everyone doing it. And switch direction. As you hold and move through postures throughout these routines, make sure that you keep your breath smooth and deep in and out through your nose as a way to stay grounded and calm. Come back to center and step your feet together behind your chair so you can use the back of your chair as support or maybe even your desk as support. Step your left foot back three or four feet and sink into a lunge. As you drive down and back through your left heel and sink into your hips, you should feel a lot of sensation as your left calf begins to open up and your left hip flexor begins to release tension. If you wanted to add on, just reach your left arm overhead, lengthening from your left heel through your left fingertips. Release your left arm back down. Keep your feet where they are. Just begin to straighten out your right leg as you shift your hips back and lean forward. So with both legs straight, the more you can stick your hips out behind you, the more you're gonna feel your right hamstring begin to open up. Try flexing your right toes back for even more sensation. Keep your spine long and your neck relaxed. Then to come out, bend your right knee and step your left foot forward. To switch sides, step your right foot back, maybe three or four feet. As you sink into your lunge position, drive back through your right heel. Deepen your breath in and out through your nose, appreciating and observing all the sensation you feel. And if you did so on the other side, reach your right arm overhead, lengthening from your right heel through your right fingertips. And release your right arm back down. Straighten out both legs as you shift your hips back, opening up your left hamstring. Flex your left toes back if you did so on the other side. Relax your shoulders and neck and keep everything long. To come out, bend your left knee, step your right foot forward, and take a seat on your chair for our final posture. Sit on the edge of your chair with your feet wide and grounding evenly. For a figure four, place your right ankle on your left thigh, just above your left knee. Flex your right toes back and gently press your right thigh down if it's lifting up towards you. To increase sensation, Hinge from your hips to lean forward slightly. You should feel a lot of sensation and opening in your right glute and piriformis. Deepen your breath in and out through your nose. So your exhales are just a little bit longer.
and switch sides. Place your right foot back down and take your left ankle on your right thigh just above your right knee. Flex your left toes back. Gently push your left thigh down and feel free to just stay here and breathe and to increase sensation over time, all you'll do is hinge forward from your hips. And gentle release. Take both feet back down and when you do come back to sit into your chair, imagine that you are trying to slip your bottom through the crease between the seat and the back side of your chair. This will keep your lower back supported so you can sit up tall. Make sure you check out the rest of the desk yoga series including short videos for wrist health, better posture, neck and shoulder tension, and a mental grounding exercise. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.